All right, so a friend of mine said, hey, you should start posting some of your cooking videos on YouTube. And that's actually why I recently uploaded the bread video and the jam. Um, some would say I'm a, a really good cook. I don't think I'm that great. I mean, I've had people describe my cooking as orgasmic and that sort of thing. Um, I think that where I'm ahead of most people is I know how to cook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a meal that's relatively easy to make during the coronavirus. We are going to use a simple principle that's used in five-star restaurants all over the United States and world. We are going to mix hot and spicy with sweet and sour all at the same time. Um, so while I'm preparing this chicken, basically I take took two chicken breasts. You can scale this up or down, however big you need it to be. I forgot to lay it out. So I defrosted it in a microwave, which overcooked some of it. But we're gonna use it anyways, cause it's still good. Um, so you wanna take any kind of chicken, chicken breast, boneless chicken breast is the easiest, obviously, because it's boneless. And you're going to cut it into like a quarter inch to half inch thick pieces. And then you're going to take those quarter to half inch thick pieces and you're going to further cut those into more like bite sized pieces. So we're taking this and we're going to like cut it in half again. So now I'm left with this. I should have said you need to start obviously with clean hands. I clean my hands before I turn the camera on. If they're really large pieces, you can even cut them again. So just kind of use your best judgment. This is really simple to make, by the way. It doesn't really take a lot of ingredients it might take ingredients that you don't have and I'll mention some substitutions that you can use so once you've got that done next we're going to take all of our chicken put it in a big bowl the bowl size will obviously be determined by how much chicken you're making if you're a family say a family of four you might do four or five chicken breasts or you know just whatever you normally make It's just me here by myself right now, so I'm using two chicken breasts. That will probably be enough for my dinner tonight, and then tomorrow, maybe some will be left over for lunch. Next, you're going to take salt, any kind of salt, table salt, sea salt, whatever you got. Put some salt on there. Next, pepper. If you don't have pepper, you're probably going to be... And uh, it's a good chance you're not going to have a lot of this other stuff. All right. After the salt and pepper, we're going to add some garlic powder. I like a lot of garlic powder. You can add as much as you want to add. Next, we're going to go with some oregano. I also like quite a bit of oregano. Next, we're going to go with some paprika. I happen to like paprika too. Paprika also kind of gives us some color. Next thing we're going to do is lemon juice. If you don't have lemon juice but you got like lemon pepper, you can use it. So you want some lemon juice. Lemon juice. You want some hot sauce. If you don't have hot sauce, use something like uh, use something like curry or chili powder or red pepper, cayenne pepper, that sort of thing. Um, I usually use hot sauce just because I got it available. So we're going to use some of it. It also adds some color. Next, 
we're going to add some oil. I like olive oil. You might prefer coconut oil. Even vegetable oil will work. Add some oil. Next thing we're going to do, and this is my secret tip. Again, we're mixing uh, sweet and sour, hot and spicy. I take a little bit of sugar. It doesn't have to be a lot of sugar. I ain't even got a measuring cup. Here, I'm just going to use a plastic spoon because it's right here. So, a little bit of sugar. If you don't have granulated sugar, use powdered sugar, use brown sugar, whatever you want. Now that we got all of that in there, we're going to take and mix this up a little bit. As soon as I find my tongs, I'm going to mix this up until it's covered. And what you're going to end up with is some chicken that kind of looks like this. Uh, where is the camera at? So we're going to have some chicken that's going to have some color to it, right? Now, what I usually like to do is you could go ahead and stick this in your oven right like it is. But the longer you let this marinate, the better it tastes. So usually what I do is I cover this bowl up and I stick it in the refrigerator. Um, Two to four hours is good. If you could leave it overnight, that would be even better. But I forgot to lay out meat for dinner tonight. It's already 8.30. I've been outside working. So I'm literally going to put this, what's the quickest way for me to cook this? In the air fryer. So you can either lay this out on a cooking sheet in your oven and bake it at like 350 for uh, 15 or 20 minutes. You could cook it in an air fryer. At this point, you could even honestly fry it in a skillet. So let me get the air fryer set up and we will be back soon. All right, so here's another one. This is just, uh, I'm only cooking for me so you can scale this up and down as far as, or you know, for as many people as you need to cook. This is some brown rice uh, added to a bowl with some water. It hasn't been cooked yet. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to add about, uh, it's about, I should say, it's probably about one cup of brown rice and about one cup of water. I'm going to add two teaspoons of white sugar to it. Then I'm going to cook it in a microwave for seven minutes. Stir it up. Add it to a microwave on high for about seven minutes. The next step, I'll bring you back as soon as it's cooked. All right, so now that I've cooked this, let me show you what this looks like. It'll take me just a minute to pull this out. See there? This is extremely good. Okay, so taking the rice out of the microwave, I'm going to take and run a fork through it just to see. I definitely had a little too much water in there so it didn't all evaporate off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stir it up and I'm going to wait about two minutes. So we'll be right back in two minutes. Okay, so now we're back. Um, what you're going to need for this next part is you're going to need your rice that you just took out of the microwave. You're going to need to have a skillet, a wok, or just whatever you've got on the stove in the pan hot. You're also going to need eggs. Now for about a cup of rice, I use somewhere between two to four eggs depending on the size. But you're just going to have to judge based on what it looks like to you. So we're going to take our rice. Add it to the pan. Kind of need to go quick with this. Add a little bit of garlic powder. As 
soon as you got the garlic powder in there stir it up and before it gets too dry add the eggs Try not to get any shells in there like I just did. Now mix it all together. Make sure your eggs or yolks are busted up and just mix it. I will bring you back when this is done. All right, folks, this is the rice and eggs and the chicken. I know I don't have the greatest lighting in here. Current time is 9.07, so this took me less than 30 minutes to make. This is honestly super, super good, quick, and easy. Thanks.